Hi. I'm Gerard with the giant fish, and today we're investigating an Omega Juicer. This one looks a lot like a champion. Sorry, Omega, but it looks a lot like a champion. Anyways, this juicer does a lot of stuff, like the champion. It does a uh, fruit and vegetable juicer, wheatgrass juicer, nut or butter, um, soy milk grinder, pasta noodle extruder, frozen desserts, and mincing and chopping. And I was just reading the directions to see if I could put this together. I think I'll be able to do it this time. So that piece right there fits in like that, and then you can lock it closed. The auger goes in the middle. That seems good. And this piece goes in the bottom. There's two of these. One is for the chopping and the grinding, and the and the chopping and the grinding. This one is for the juicing and the juicing. Uh, this goes on top, and this locks in here like this. And there's a forward and a reverse, like the other auging juicers. And there's a little catch basin, so I don't have to go get the circular saw and cut a new base. And I'm going to juice kale and carrots and celery and parsley and apples. I I need more apples. Hang on a second. Okay, let's turn it on and see what it does. So, we're going to put some, there's the uh, plunger and a little brush and my knife. We'll do a carrot first. There it goes. It didn't seem like it wanted to take off right away. Because it only locks in one position. It only locks in forward position. So I'm not really sure why it does that. I've noticed it did that twice now. Something also we're going to check, like the Breville, uh, this juice is with hardly any pulp. You'll see it, there's a little screen that comes with this. So you'll see that there's hardly any uh, pulp in the juice, which is great. Like uh, I said before, if you're not feeling well and you are juicing for your health, uh, any, you know, that's a big deal to sit there and strain all that pulp up. Uh, some people drink the pulp, a lot of people can't swallow it. So it's something to think about when you're buying a juice. Um, we're going to cut some apples. The hole is kind of small, so it's you have to do a little bit more cutting, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Plus this thing does, they say it does everything. We're not going to try all that, we're just looking for a juicer right now. But it also makes nut butter and frozen desserts, a lot like the champion. Great, it does celery great. That's kale. Kale's real difficult, celery's real difficult, ginger's real difficult. Not with this, I'm not saying with this juicer. But in general, they're hard to juice. Some parsley. Some more kale.
We're trying to. We're, I'm trying to build up enough pulp. I'm gonna pull out another juicer and see if we get more juice out of that pulp. I don't think the plunger is too hard to plunge in it, so I'm pretty satisfied with this so far. This juicer was, uh, I bought this juicer for around $200. So it's not real expensive, but it is, it's real close to price of the champion. Finish up these apples and this kale, and we'll see how much uh, juice we can get out of the pulp that's left. There. We're almost there. Hang on, guys. It's kind of a pain to have a hole that small. I think it's a little bit smaller than the champion. <clears throat> okay. So, here is the other Omega Masticating Juicer. I'll turn this off. Plug that one in. Let's see what this baby does. So we're just trying to see how much we're gonna get out of this pulp. If anything. It seems wet. So I'm expecting that we will get more juice out of this. Oh yeah, we are. Mm. Very interesting. So this is how much juice we got out of that product. There is a lot still in, that's how much pulp we got, which isn't, that's pretty good. It's a lot different than what we got out of the Breville. 
and we're still getting juice out of this. Not a ton, but this stuff ain't cheap. So if you're buying organic produce, you want, that's, you know, that's enough. Let's strain it just, just for the heck of it. I'd say that's pretty cleaned up. Let's just strain that and see how much more to clean. Okay. So I would say we got at least a couple ounces more juice after running it through the other Omega juicer. Um, that's not saying that this is a bad juicer because it does do a lot of other things. I'm considering it, but this is still, although this is difficult to deal with sometimes, you have to clean this out a lot, you still get a lot more juice out of your product. This takes a lot, I'd say these take about the same amount of time, real close. Um, stay tuned, we're going to look at some more juicers, and thanks for watching the giant fishy.